Hey guys, it's me Maxi Rainbow and I am back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Junior Eurovision 2022. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Malta's entry for Junior Eurovision called Diamonds in the Sky by Gaia Gambuja. So of course, I have already reacted to the national selection performance, but I'm excited to be reacting to the studio version and the music video. I'm hoping that they did some revamps. I'm hoping that they kind of fine tuned it because I did actually say in my initial reaction that generally I like the song. It just needed slight enhancements and it needed a clearer vision. So I'm excited to see what they bring. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. Ooh. Another like kind of sci-fi theme maybe? Ooh, Stranger Things vibes, I see. I like that direction if they're, that's what they're going with. A little throwback. Yeah, we're getting, we've got 80s. Oh, yeah, we've got those synths in the background. Oh, this is cool. I actually love this direction. Whoa. And then she's like the alien at the top of the, I don't know, place. Oh, eight, 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 eight. Wait, 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 why is this a serve? Ooh, it's cinematic. They're building the hype. They're taking us somewhere. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, hey! To the moon and back! Wait, this sounds cool. It sounds like they did something different with the instrumental. It's just more spacey, retro. It's cool. And I like her voice in this. It's like softer, more. Come on. Hey, hey. Diamonds in the sky. Hey. It's one of those drops where Loki, you're like, it's kind of a weak drop but I gotta dance to it. And I love that they, it's like, they have a clear direction. They know what they're doing with this video. They're like, we're gonna go Stranger Things, 80s, synth vibes. I like it, I like this a lot. This is a big improvement to me. Okay. Oh, so like, she's like the alien that makes people dance. Cause her music is just that hype. <laughs> Come on. And you know she's gonna slay it with the choreography because we saw that in the, her performance. And I like that, like, I think that my issue with the live performance originally was like, there wasn't a clear aesthetic or vibe that she was going for. I like this. I, I think this is so improved. The braids are cute. Her face is beat. Oh my God. Malta does, not Malta knows what they're doing with videos. Why do they always slay with the videos? If I ever make a, a song and I need a music video, I'm going to Malta. Like, look at this. They know what they're doing. With diamonds in the sky. This is cool. I love this a lot, actually. <laughs> oh, slay, slay, slay. Next, uh, Stranger Things season five or whatever season they're on, because I actually haven't watched it since season one. Add this to the soundtrack. Add this to the soundtrack. <laughs> Eight. This eight. I'm sorry. I think I was low key like fixing to be a hater of the song. This sold me. This sold me. This is top five material based on this video. Like, I'm sorry. You can't tell me nothing. This eight. This eight. The Slade. Up, down, all around. I think it's because it's like they chose a clear direction. They did it well. Period. Love that. 
And yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Malta's entry for Junior Eurovision 2022. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you think about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any other video that I do. As well as don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at Max Rainbow. So you don't miss any posts, polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye.